Hello everybody, it's your boy TwinPlays here, back in video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So in this tutorial, we are going to be doing a char command, basically a character command. Now, um, I know recently we just left off the refresh command, so I wanted to bring out another command, but in this one, I actually did not make. Um, I just found this. Um, I wanted to make one, and then I was like, okay, no, there's no way someone actually made this. So I checked online, and it looks like someone did make this on dev form. Uh, it was created by Jacob, if I'm right. Um, lovely Jacob, and he is amazing because this is perfect. This is actually exactly what I needed to do. So if you do slash char, basically, and you type in the player's username, um, it will be giving you... Um, it will basically char you and it will send chat messages telling you you um, that you basically are able to look like that you just look like them and tell you that you did the wrong username so this is really nice because this is set up and everything like I love how this is he did it perfect um, so great work for him uh, I'm gonna leave everything in the description for you guys so that's what I actually want you to check out just now so we are actually gonna go in the description and you're gonna grab this model right here so go support them grab this model click this right here and you'll be able to do the command um, and you also can check out the dev form for uh, maybe if you want more description right here, basically talking about it, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, so he did great work. I, I really like this is awesome. I think this is one of the best commands that I found just for free online. So great work. But um, yeah, so basically what you are going to do is once you get that model, you're going to go to toolbox, you're going to click inventory, and it should be the first one right here. Now I already loaded it in and you're going to be putting it in server script service. So feel free to do that. So we have a few things to go over, but I'm just going to start away with the char function and this fire. Um, this is going to be the bindable event. Um, but so, you know what? No, I'm just going to start with the char command. What am I talking about? But if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. Sorry, I kind of forgot about that. Um, it means so much to me, everyone. So feel free to do that. And if you want, also join the Discord. It is in the description and we do help out everyone that need help. So that's really nice. But um, yeah, so let's get straight to this. So... If, um, when you get this in, you're going to put script service and you're going to look at a few things. This is the settings. Now, I wish you could have done maybe a little better with the documentation and, like, uh, some, uh, just, like, capitalizations, errors, and stuff like that. But there's nothing wrong with the script. It's just perfect. But that's just my ADHD, I guess. So, in prefix right here, this is what the command you're going to be using. So, uh, basically, you can use, um, exclamation point char or semicolon char or colon char. It's up to your choice. So right here we have a few things. So we have like match size basically and we have a bunch of other stuff. So hide message. Um, so these all have a purpose to them. So match size, I actually am not very curious. I did not look at that. Let's see. Match size, char function. Okay, so this is about the match size. So if the match size is um, set to true. So basically, if you want the player to change the character, I want the, your character to change to um, their size that they basically already have um and you want them to change the size to exactly match them then feel free to change this to true um if you want the message as in saying the message that um goes through to be hidden then change this to false um basically like that if you have a game pass id as in saying they will need a game pass to use this you are going to create a game pass and let's just say this for now you clicked on the link and you're basically going to grab this number right here and that is going to give you the chance to um, put the game pass so you'll change it and you're going to put the number right there so what's going to happen later we're going to check if they have the game pass or not then if they need to have a whitelist as in saying set true if you only want players in whitelist to use the command as in saying only admins basically um, then you're going to add in user IDs. So this is kind of the same thing grabbing from his profile. You're going to click this nine number right here and you are going to put this in here like this. And you'll basically copy and paste like this. Now, if you want only them to you be using it, then you're going to change this to true. So pretty simple stuff, actually. Um, and right now, it's just set so everyone can use it, basically. Um, that's how that works. But I'd recommend saying this to true if you only want admins in Gate Pass, basically. So, um, and he kind of explains it right here, basically. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'll just close this out right here. So we have a table called Game Pass Users, the chat service, and everything like that. So we're gonna check if the player um, chats. If they chat, we're gonna split it to a argument. We're split the argument in half, and we're going to check for the player. Um, if the prefix, as in saying if the argument is character is prefix dot char, 
Um, this is where you can customize it if you want like slash character instead, but um, that's what we're getting. We are going to check if hide message equals true and should deliver equals false. So the, the deliver the message or not. Um, if the game pass ID is not equal to nil, then they will check if the player has um, the game pass. And if the player does have the game pass, then it will do, um, it will basically um, send it through. If they don't own the game pass, then they will, uh, it will say that they need to own the game pass. Um, this is if the whitelist is true also, then we're going to check and we're going to say that they need the game pass. I mean, need to be on the whitelist. Then right here for the second one, we are basically going to put in the username. I mean, one second. All right, sorry. So then we are basically going to check another thing. So we have game.creator type, and this is for um, the user. So if it's basically the game creator ID, then they're all, they're just going to be in the whitelist. So I made the game. I'm automatically going to be able to use this. So um, basically right here, this is another way of doing the game creator type is group. And if they are in the group, as in saying if the person is in the group, and their rank equals 255, um, then we are going to insert them into the whitelist. You can change this right here if you want to do like, let's just say you wanted to do like this and you wanted to do 253. Um, so if it's great, sorry, no, like this. If they are over that number, then they're basically able to um, be in the whitelist and use this command. Then if we have game pass is not equal to nil, then we are going to uh, check if they own the game pass and we're gonna insert them to the game pass users. So. I really like how he did this because he did all these tables and it really is just perfectly easy to configure. So really in the end all you got to do is just mess with these ones up here and that's it. Um, but yeah, probably don't touch anything else. So kind of talking about this, we do the system message right here. And when we send the system message, it's going to be doing this. So as like you see, characters not loaded. Please provide a username. So this is username, by the way. This isn't ID. You grab the username of the player, um, but it's pretty nice. Then in the chart function, so this is inside the chart command. We are going to be using this. So in the chat service, if the event gets fired, we are going to get all of these local variables right here. We're going to get the chat speaker, the humanoid description of that chat speaker and of the player that he is calling for. And if it is not equal to nil, then what we are going to do is check the humanoid of our current player, grab that humanoid description, and what we're going to do is create local pass human description. It basically equals what we were, our human description was. And if you don't know what human description is, it's basically um, this new thing they added where it's everything inside of the humanoid. And like, it's basically your whole player. I guess you could just say that. It's literally what you wear, your body type, your scale, your head, you know, this kind of stuff right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our new humanoid description to whatever, um, sorry, to whatever, yeah, what our past was. I mean, to what? The players was so these are all kind of p call functions too right here so ex success is great for this is why this is awesome too because this really does uh help so successfully made your car your character look like that player's name and then sends another message message saying an error can you make sure you provide the correct username if that user may be terminated so it's really simple um i'm really happy they made this and i could find this so Great job, Jacob. I hope you did enjoy this video, too. Um, but that's about it, you guys. That's it. It's pretty simple stuff. I actually never thought of doing it like this. Game, get service, uh, get chat callback. Um, register chat callback. I've never thought of that, so that's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, so that's about it, you guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. Feel free to go give him a follow and get this model from him so he gets some sales on that. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, everyone. See you later.